welcome to step by step tutorials we are here with our new video in this video we will learn to draw the negative cubic crystal planes in this tutorial we will cover the following cubic crystal plane that are 1 bar 0 0 0 1 bar 0 0 0 1 bar 1 bar 1 bar 0 1 bar 1 bar 1 bar 1 bar 1 0 1 bar 1 bar 1 so before going to the crystal planes first we will recall the main idea of the miller indices miller indices are whole numbers enclosed in round bracket they are used to indicate the crystallographic planes written as hkl enclosed in the round bracket so let's suppose this is our crystallographic plane so how we will write Miller indices for this crystallographic plane? So we will follow some steps. So first step is to determine the intercept of this plane. So intercept of this plane is 1 over 3 at x axis means it is intercepting this x axis at the 1 over third part of this lattice constant A. Intercept at this end is 2 by 3 that is it is cutting the y axis at the 2 by 3rd part of the lattice constant B. Intercept at the, this axis z axis is equal to 1 means it is cutting the z axis at complete C. So the intercepts will be 1 over 3 at the x axis, 2 by 3 at the y axis and 1 at the z axis. So next step is take reciprocal of these intercepts. So you will get 3 comma 3 by 2 comma 1. So next step is simplify fraction. So you will get 6 comma 3 comma 2. Just remove commas and you will get Miller indices for this plane. So as we know that the crystallographic planes are represented by these Miller indices. So now we are given some one Miller indice that is one bar zero zero. This bar indicates negative sign. So how we will draw this Miller indices? So first step is to find the intercept of this Miller this Miller indices by going in the reverse process. Take the reciprocal of this intercept and you will get minus one over one infinity infinity means the intercept at the x axis minus 1 over 1 intercept at y axis is at infinity intercept at the z axis is also at infinity as the intercept at the x axis is at infinity so we have to shift the origin from this position so shift the origin such that only x axis becomes negative so we drop the origin from this position and our new origin is this one when now when you move in this direction this is your negative x axis direction but the y axis is still positive and the z axis is still positive so now what are the direction for the negative x axis this one this one this one and this one now join these four corners and you will get a plane that will be one bar zero zero cubic crystal plane so now we have 0 1 bar 0 cubic crystal plane so first step will be to find the intercept by taking the reciprocal of this Miller indices so intercept at the x axis is at infinity intercept at the y axis is equal to minus 1 over 1 intercept at the z axis once again at infinity so as the intercept at the y axis is, is at negative so we had to move this origin from this position so drop the origin from this position and uh, move it in such position that y axis only becomes negative. So now at this position now when you move from this corner in this direction this is negative y axis direction and this is positive x axis direction and this is positive z axis direction. So what are the direction for negative y axis this one, this one, this one and this one. Now join these four corners and you will get a plane that will be 0 1 bar 0 cubic crystal plane. Next is 0 0 1 bar cubic crystal plane. 
so intercept at the x y and z axis are infinity at the x axis infinity at the y axis minus 1 over 1 that is at the z axis so once again this intercept is negative so we have to shift the origin such that only z axis becomes negative so drop the origin from this position and the new origin will be this one so now when you come downward from this origin that is negative z axis but the x axis is still positive and the y axis is still positive now now the negative axis direction the z axis direction this is negative z axis direction this is your negative z axis direction this one is negative z axis direction and this one is negative z axis direction when you join these four corners you will get a plane that will be 0 0 1 bar cubic crystal plane so next is we have to draw 1 bar 1 bar 0 cubic crystal plane so intercept at the x y and z axis are minus, minus 1 over 1 at the x axis minus 1 over 1 at the y axis and infinity at the z axis so now both intercept at the x axis and y axis are negative so we have to shift the origin such that x and y axis become negative so we drop the origin from this position and our new origin is this one when you move in this direction this is negative y axis when you move in this direction this is negative x axis but z axis is still positive so what are the direction for the negative x axis this one this one this one and this one now what are the direction for the negative y axis this one this one this one and finally this one now you get two type of corners these two corners have two arrows and the remaining these four corners have a single arrow just join these four corners and you will get a rectangle that will be your plane one bar one bar zero cubic crystal plane now next is one bar one bar one bar cubic crystal plane so first step will be to find the intercept at the x, y and z axis that are minus 1 over 1 at the x axis, minus 1 over 1 at the y axis, minus 1 over 1 at the z axis respectively. Now second step is shift the origin such that x, y and z axis become negative. So drop the origin from this position. Our new origin is this one. When you move in this direction, this is negative. Y axis, when you move in this direction, this is negative z axis and you move in this direction this is negative x axis so this is negative axis direction this is negative x axis direction this is your negative x axis direction this is your negative x axis direction this is your negative y axis direction this is your negative y axis direction this is your negative y axis direction and this one is your negative y axis direction this one is your negative z axis direction negative z axis direction once again negative z axis direction and negative z axis direction this time you get three types of the corners this corner has three arrows and these three corners have two arrows and the remaining these three corners have a single arrow just join the corners which have a single arrow and you will get a triangle that will be your one bar one bar one bar cubic crystal plane next is one bar one zero cubic crystal plane so intercept at the y x y and z axis are minus 1 over 1 1 and infinity respectively so intercept on is negative only at the x axis so shift the origin such that only x axis becomes negative so drop the origin from this position and your new origin is this one when you move in this direction this is negative x axis but the y axis and the z axis are still positive now what are the negative y axis x axis direction this one this one this one and your this one what are the positive y axis direction this one this one this one and finally this one now once again you get two type of corners two corners which have two arrows the remaining four corners have single arrow just join these four corners you get a rectangle and that rectangle is one bar one zero cubic crystal plane next is we have to draw one bar one bar one cubic crystal plane intercept at the x y and the z axis are minus one over one minus one over one and one respectively shift the origin such that x y and z x and y becomes negative and this z will still 
be positive because in the intercept at the z axis is also positive one so drop the origin from this position and your new origin is this one now when you move in this direction this is negative y axis when you move in this direction this is negative x axis but the z axis is still positive now what are the negative x axis directions this one this one this one and your this one what are the negative y axis direction this one this one this one this one and what are the positive z axis direction this one this one this one and your this one now once again you get three type of corner this corner has three arrows these three corners have two arrows and these three corners have single arrow just join the corners which have single arrow and you get a triangular shape and that is you are one bar one bar one cubic crystal plane so please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to be updated with our um, future videos thank you